I want to welcome everybody back from your nice little long weekend. Everybody have a good time? Ready to be back, ready to study, ready to focus. I want to introduce you to this morning's speaker, Mr. Curtis Chin. Mr. Curtis Chin comes to us as part of something called the Paduano Lecture Series. And uh, the Paduano Lecture Series is an endowed fund to bring people who address a, broad, a very broad range of moral, ethical, and spiritual issues on campus. So we have many different speakers who come through and fit into that category. Mr. Chin is a producer and a political activist and a writer from L.A. He is co-founder of the Asian American Writers Workshop. Um, he's a member of the Writers Guild. His work in television and screenwriting include credits on the sitcom Norm, according to Jim and Jake Long. He is a graduate from the University of Michigan, where he studied, was in a very special, small creative writing program. And this morning, we're going to begin, before he comes up to speak, with the documentary he made, the reason why he's here, a documentary called Vincent, uh, Vincent Who. And actually, it has to do with a, a hate crime that took place in Detroit, his home city, in 1982. So we're going to begin with that clip right now. Following the, uh, Mr. Chin's short talk, we will be in the faculty room for Q&A. So if you're free F block before lunch, or if you want to bring your class, convince your teacher to bring your class, or if you want to come individually, teachers, faculty, uh, come into the faculty room and join us. And uh, let's let it roll. one person. Um, a couple people have. So as you can tell, it was a big case for me growing up because he was a family friend of ours, and it was a big shock to actually know somebody who was murdered like that, but then to find out that the justice system w were going to let the killers off, you know, without serving a single day in jail. Um, so it's a case that, you know, um, you know, really had a big impression on me growing up, but, you know, I went off, pursued my own career, you know, became a writer in Hollywood, and then, you know, a few years later, you know, I thought back on this case, you know, and looked at the anniversary and wondered, you know, why people weren't talking about it. And that's when I decided to make this documentary. Um, and so since then, you know, I've gone to over 200 colleges. You know, I just came back from Norway where the Norwegian government brought me out there, uh, London, you know, where Amnesty International, um, you know, brought me out there too. So it's been a really great opportunity to sort of talk about the case itself, but also some of the issues involved with it. And so I think we're going to... Um, Continue the conversation in the faculty lounge after this. So um, hopefully some of you guys will join us. So thank you. Thank you. 